Based on the success of last year's oven ready Christmas dinner, of course, Christmas wouldn't be complete without our good old friend, well, without my good old friend, the oven ready Christmas dinner. It is oven ready, ready to go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Another year, another Christmas drive, right? And I've forgotten how to do videos. But no, that is not why I haven't been putting out stuff for a while again. Anyway, how are you? Look, Mark to Golf. It's a tease. Spotted Mark to Golf. Anyway, it has been a while. Um, things have happened. 2020, as we all know, has been a rather eventful year. <coughs> Covid. <coughs> and yeah. And I've been up to some things as well, other than lockdown and doing homework and trying not to fail. That's uni. So, first things first, how have I been throughout Covid? I've been alright, my family have been alright, even though they're in Hong Kong, and from what I understand, it's act we're actually a little bit worse off in the UK than it is in Hong Kong, which is, I suppose, comforting news. That's one bit of the admin done in terms of COVID. And then uni. I am now in third year, which is good news. The slightly less good news is I've kind of just made it in. Yeah. I'm gonna try and keep it brief, so let's let's just keep all the details there. So, right, about this drive. Based on the success of last year's Christmas drive, I'm gonna do it again. As you can obviously tell. And for today's route, unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to keep it fairly local this time around because Boris said no. And as for today's route, I'm gonna keep it nice and local. And I'm gonna take us I'm gonna go for a spin around Beachy Head. And come back. Maybe go for a spin to a couple of other places afterwards off camera. Not sure yet, but Beachy Head I do plan on doing on camera because I do actually like that road. Now that I've had this car for a while then, how has it been? Anyway, in the last year, things for this car have been <laughs> this car has been scaring the living daylights out of me every now and then. Since January of 2020, this car has suddenly gained an appetite for misfires. And this car, as of this year, doesn't like the wet either. I don't know why. Presumably it wasn't an ignition problem, but half the ignition system is new and it's still doing it, and I don't know why. And then, head gasket came up. Head gasket got brought to, um, got brought to my attention. That was changed, and unfortunately, it took quite a bit longer than I would have hoped. And it cost a little bit more money than I would have hoped. But for now, essentially, the, the brief is, Good luck when driving this thing, I'll need it. Ooh, what is that? That's an organ of some sort behind me. Not sure. I'll try and slow down a bit so it can go past. Yes, that is a Morgan. That is a Morgan that has just gone past. In other news, I got a job. Actually, I got two jobs now. One of them is working as a student ambassador for the uni. And the other one is. I think I'll, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about that one for now. But you can have a hint. It is under lockdown restrictions, even classed as essential work. So I'm still allowed out to play, even in the event, even in the very likely event of a third national lockdown. Doing videos. Am I still interested in YouTube in, in the same way as I was about a year or two ago? Yes, but less. It, it started one, I, I don't know how, I don't know, I can't remember precisely when or where or how, but it, it just suddenly came across to me halfway through editing some video at the start of 2019 that I'm just doing this same old thing over and over and over again. I'm going around the same old circle, round and round and round and round again. Right, 
and there's a statue of a head that I really don't want to upset. A speed camera. There's a speed camera. I don't want to upset that. I'm just going to take it nice and gently. Yep, don't upset the statue. Anyway, I suddenly started getting the feeling of I'm going around the same circle, round and round and round and round again, and I don't know, it, a brick wall just appeared out of nowhere, and yeah. Ever since that, I would get about halfway through editing the video, I would be sourcing stuff, I would have a brilliant idea at the start of the video. This video is probably going to end up with a similar fate, but I will try and get it out, I promise. But I, I would get halfway through making a video, with a brilliant idea one second, and then the next second, it, I'll start getting a million and one voices inside my head going, why this is an awful idea, and how I, what it, you know, what, what's the newness? What is different about this video than any other previous that I have done? What, what's the newness? Where is, where is the newness? There isn't. And that, and somehow, it got to me. And I would get halfway through editing a video, the video would get forgotten about. Which is probably why whenever I start a new project in iMovie, it now comes up to something like MyMovie24. Yeah. Uh, am I going to continue doing videos? I will try. Am I going to do as many videos as before? Doubt it. And now the million dollar question. Have I just essentially said I am giving up? Well, yes and no. Yes, because I would get halfway through doing something, doing a video, and then I would hit a brick wall and my head would completely fall apart. No, because it means I have just shifted my focus onto doing other things. Things that actually generate real results. Like trying to do better in my studies. Yeah, like I've been doing that well. Try, like trying to make money. Actually, I've been doing that a bit better than I thought I would. And I will still try and crank out a video every now and then. They will be less often and probably a little diff. I'll try and make them about slightly different things to before. Now I'm going to have my breather and make a few phone calls because it is Christmas. Christmas is the time to make phone calls to friends and family and stuff like that because Boris said I can't go and see them this year. There you go. Although I may also surprise a couple of friends on their doorsteps. Socially distanced of course. Admin stuff has been talked about, phone calls have been made and surprises have been delivered. Now, time for the fun stuff. speed limit. I'll be quite careful in case anything runs out in front of me here. But down there though, I'm going to take it nice and gently. Cyclist. I want to be careful with them. I be careful of them. Cyclists. Small but very angry creatures. I should know that because I do cycling as well. I'll be nice to him. Passing with plenty of distance. This is why I love this road. And 
And yes, I am purposely not shifting up. This is not the time I want to be stuck behind you, camper van. Come on. Ah. Looks like we're going to have to do this again, aren't we? Oh, hello. That looks like a Mark... I'm not sure, is that a Mark II Escort? We need a detour. Looks like my Christmas lunch can wait. of this damn camper van. Oh well. Looks like looks like safety's got it this time. Okay, I'm just gonna take it nice and easy till I get past these people. Oh great, just leave your car door open. Yeah, you know, great idea. Brilliant idea. to Jag, lovely. Yes, that's more like it. Go oh, baby, go. Speed limit. This is the thing I love about this road is, if you're lucky, you can open the taps on it right up the speed limit. It's a nice little 0 to 60, this one. Except this, in this car, 0 to 60 takes about three calendar days. <laughs> Actually, more like three working days. Took about three Is that a Mercedes or a Saab? Hmm. Let's have a look, shall we? Careful not to bin it. Oh, I don't want to bin this car. It's not BUKC. I don't need to bin it for the sake of it. Now, do I? It's a Saab. But hey, J Reg friends. It's either a 91 or 92, that I'll look it up later. One of you can look it up. Can't be bothered. Oh, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Of course. Whilst having fun, safety is always first. I am only going as fast as I feel in control of. And only going as fast as the speed limit on top of that. Based on the success of last year's oven ready Christmas dinner, of course, Christmas wouldn't be complete without our good old friend, well, without my good old friend, the oven ready Christmas dinner. It is oven ready, ready to go. So in there, not really much different from last year's one, apart from the deletion of the steak sandwiches part because it was a bit dull and it made the food cold by the time I've made them. So I didn't bother with it. I've got one of the loveliest of views to have a picnic in and well, what, what better to do than sit in the countryside and have a picnic? Of course, well, especially when it's a Christmas dinner. And, um, yeah, the process of making this, <laughs> you don't want to know. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Chowie's Totally Not Deadly Concoction number 1225. Never mind that, today is only Friday the 25th of December 2020. Christmas is still 365 days away. False alarm everyone, false alarm. It has been nice to see you again. Well, I don't know how nice it is for you to see me again anyway. I shall now sign off and it's been a lovely day out. I'm sure I'll find some more phone calls to make off camera afterwards and I'm sure I'll find a couple more places to go off camera afterwards. Not that they're anything interesting anyway. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you again if there is a next time.